probably the biggest regret I ever have from buying property in Turkey is a few days after I signed my contract, um, the property I bought was for about 60. Uh, and the, I went, someone messaged me uh, that they're selling some furniture. So I thought, I'll go check it out. Uh, and it was only two buildings away from my apartment. So I went there and uh, subhanAllah, it was like the most beautiful view ever. Like my terrace view, where you get the sea, the old town, the Kalichi, the mountains, everything you can see from this, probably the most beautiful view in the world. But that's from the terrace, shared terrace. So this was from the apartment, the view was the same. And I remember uh, I went to see the, uh, uh, the furniture and I thought I've seen this property somewhere. And uh, so I asked the lady, you know, isn't this apartment for sale? She said, yeah, the owner is selling it. And uh, I said, I want to buy this. I had to buy this no matter what. And it was for about 80. So mine was 60. This was 80. So I thought, you know, it's a bit more expensive. But the view was just, you know. And at that time, uh, the lady phoned the, the agent. Uh, and the agent was, mashallah, you know, so, uh, you know, how do you say, very strict in his rules. And I said to him, look, I'm willing to pay extra money. No matter what, you know, I want to buy this. And he said, no, I'm very sorry. The contract was made just today. Or yesterday or something like that. And I said, come on, I'll pay you extra. I'll pay you some money on the side. Just give me this property. And can you believe it? I'm ready to pay the agent extra money so that he breaks the contract and gives it to me. And, um, you know, so obviously it was wrong. But at that time, you know, I was just, I was just you know, gone crazy. And because that view had made me mad. And, uh, but the agent said, no, we don't, we don't, we don't work like that in Turkey. And subhanAllah, that's when I thought, mashallah, these guys are on it. You know, they're not, they're not scamming people. They could make extra. I, I'm really willing to pay him like extra whatever, you know, like he wants. But he just said, no, we don't, you know, we're not going to do it. And subhanAllah, that property that was for 1 million lira at that time is now on the market. You can see on Sai Binden actually. It's on the market for, I think, 10 million lira. Yeah, it's no, no, no joke. So even though my property probably doubled in value, that property went up. 10 times in value can you believe it just because of the sea view because of the the you know and it's just amazing so that was probably the biggest regret you know ever that i didn't you know i remember seeing that property online a few days before but i never uh, got the opportunity to see it on time because you're seeing so many apartments and uh, subhanallah and the agent was mashallah and that's when i thought I need to start working with this agent, mate. This agent is good. And, uh, mashallah, you know, these, these are the kind of things, you know, you you experience. But at the end of the day, obviously, it's Allah's will. Allah wanted it to happen. You know, we can't take away from what's written for us. You know, whatever good and bad is written is good for us. You know, uh, we have to take it as as uh, uh, with a strong heart. You know, many good things, many bad things will happen when you do something, when you buy something, when you move, when you do hijrah. Whatever you do in life, there's going to be, you know, ups and downs. And you have to remember that, you know, life is going to throw all sorts of difficulties at you. Um, so it's a test of life. You lose somewhere, you win somewhere else. You know, and uh, I mean, right now everybody's struggling. You know, I hear everybody's going through some sort of problem, hardship, illness, diseases, family problems, money problems. You know, this is part of life. You know, if you don't have problems, that's very odd because that's not the purpose of life. The purpose of life is problems. The purpose of life is to struggle, you know, and have a test. As the hadith says, for a believer, this world is a prison. And for a, for a non-believer, for a kafir, this world is a paradise. So if you're living in the paradise life, uh, something is, uh, you know, not right. So you have to, you know, be very careful, you know, and be thankful for what the good things happen to you. And when the bad things happen, have sabr and patience. You know, many people have so many issues and problems. You know, even when people buy a property, you know, they also have many problems. But I try and explain to them, look, this is written for you. You have to have patience, you know. But at the end of the day, majority of the people who bought properties, you know, in the past, whatever, one year, they all made money. You know, mashallah, they all, you know, value has increased since then. So alhamdulillah, you know, but obviously no one knows what the future lies. But at the moment, you know, it is continuing to be in demand on Talia specifically. So you know, even the 
in, in terms of Istanbul versus Antalya. Istanbul is supposed to be number one, and number two is in Antalya. But Antalya, the ratio wise, how many foreigners are buying, according to how many, how big Antalya is, is very small compared to Istanbul. I think Antalya is much more, much more in demand. You know. So anyway, that was one of my biggest regrets. You know. Uh, but this is what's written, isn't it? You don't get something on the right time, and then you miss out the opportunity. You know. And then you think maybe it'll get cheaper later, but it never does, and it never did, and it never has. I'm always waiting. You know, people tell me, well, is there going to be a property crash? If there's a property crash, I'll be the happiest person because, you know, the people can start buying again. But for some reason, I don't think there's going to be a property crash. It might stay the same, but I don't think there's going to crash because people who have bought the Turks that have bought, the foreigners that have bought, uh, remember, majority is Turks. And they bought into property because they had cash or, or money that they needed to safeguard away from the lira depreciation. So they will never, ever, probably ever sell their property for less than they bought it. You know, so remember that, that, you know. So anyway, that's what I think is happening. And, you know, that was one of my biggest regrets. And obviously, you know, a person ponders over it because it's a human being, isn't it? But we should try not to because you start thinking if I did this or if I did that. And if is from shaitan. It's, 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 it's very bad for us. So never regret over the past. Always look at the future. And remember that any opportunity that you missed, you could not have taken it. And any bad thing that came to you, you could not have missed it. It had to come to you. It had to go through you. you know. And it's a means of forgiveness, means of elevation of your stages in Jannah. It's a means of test from Allah, you know, how you will react. You know. So this is, that's the purpose of life. You're going through life if you have problems. Otherwise, I don't know what life you're living if you don't have problems. Allah protect us, Allah make it easy, Allah give us the strength, the strength to...